Hey, I'm Kinga, CEO and founder of Publish Drive, the self-publishing platform for indie author success. We helped over 100,000 books to get published and sold in over 100 countries worldwide, even in hard to access markets like China. During this journey, I've learned a lot about publishing and I'd like to share my learnings with you so you can skip the learning curve. In this video, I will share my learnings with you about why it's essential to sell your books on Google Play, the top three mistakes you can make when publishing on Google Play Books, and also how to publish on Google Play Books right. So let's start. So let's make things clear first. What is Google Play and what is Google Play Books? I'm sure many of you have heard about Google, the tech giant. There is even a word, Googling, which means searching on the internet. Indeed, Google built the biggest search engine on earth, allowing billions of people to search online easily. They also ventured out in other businesses like operating systems with Android. There are more than 2.5 billion active Android devices on Earth that run the operating system built by Google. Also, Google Play is the App Store which is pre-installed in all devices with Android. You can download your favorite apps there. And the best part is, if you are an author, the Google Play Books app, which is entirely built for books, is pre-installed on all Google devices that opens up a totally new world for authors to sell more books in other markets as well. Also, many people ask me, what is the difference between Google Books and Google Play Books? Well, that's easy. Google Play Books is where you can purchase books. It is the store where you can sell and buy books. Google Books is a giant project started by Google to make the biggest online library on earth. They scan and digitize a lot of content with what is already available in the public domain. The trick is that when you sell on Google Play Books, the titles are being available on Google Books as well with the free sample, what is provided by Google. So people can actually read a small proportion of your book when they are browsing on Google Books that helps you tremendously with visibility and also to rank higher on search results. So now you understand how the Google Play Book Store looked like from a reader experience, but let's see why it's essential to sell your books on Google Play. Let me tell you the top three reasons why sell your title on Google Play Books as an author or a publisher. Number one, reach 2.5 billion potential readers. There are more than 2.5 billion Android devices on Earth. Also, they have a pretty good coverage in emerging markets like India, where they actually read English language books. This already means that you can have potentially a huge increase in your sales. Number two, get higher rankings on search results. As you may know, Google built the biggest search engine on earth. So if you are looking for ways to optimize your search results as an author or as a publisher for your books, publishing on Google Play Books may help you achieve that. You can get author pages with Google, which also helps you to get more discoverability in search results. Number three, Stand out from the crowd with reviews. The book market is crowded with millions of new books getting published every year. It means a hard job for authors and publishers get noticed. Usually on Amazon, you have to have more than 30 reviews to be in favor of the algorithms. In case of Google, it means only a handful of reviews. That's a huge difference. Now you know why it's essential to have Google Play Books in your publishing strategy. 
But what can go wrong? What are the pitfalls when publishing on Google? Let me tell you the top three pitfalls and mistakes you can make when publishing on Google Play. Number one, pricing. Google uses a different pricing models what other platforms like Amazon. It's mostly in wholesale model, which means that they are allowed to discount your book if they want. That can cause some issues when you have books on Amazon or on other platforms because they have a price matching algorithm, which means that if they find your book on other platforms cheaper, they will discount your title as well. You can understand that it means lower earnings for authors or for publishers. That's not what we want. So when you publish on Google Play Books, make sure that you understand how pricing works and how you can avoid price matching with other platforms. Number two, categories. All stores have different categories what they use. And most of them are very different from Amazon. So before publishing on Google Play Books, make sure that you understand the differences between categories as well. Number three, you don't analyze your sales data. When you publish on Google Play Books, analyzing your sales data is pretty tricky. There are no real charts which tells you what is going on with your sales. And if you are not a data person, the Excel sheets will not help you either. So before publishing on Google Play Books, make sure that you actually understand how Excel sheets work when you analyze your sales data. Want to learn more about publishing pitfalls? Sign up to our newsletter now, which is totally free, and you can get all the free materials, courses, ebooks to learn more about how to avoid the publishing mistakes. Wow, that was a lot of information. I hope you are still with me. So let's do some yoga pose to clear your mind and make sure that you are ready for the next step of the video, how to publish your books on Google Play Books. So let's start. Namaste. I'm ready. Now we all know why it's essential to publish on Google Play. What are the pitfalls and mistakes you can make when publishing on Google Play Books? So let's jump in how to start publishing on Google Play Books. There are three steps you have to follow when you want to start publishing on Google Play Books. Number one, sign up to Google Play. Let me show you how you do it. So now we will look at how to create a Google Play Books partner account. For that, please click on the link in the description so you will be able to see all the steps you need to take when publishing on Google Play Books with Publish Drive. It's pretty simple and straightforward so you can see why and how you need to take the different steps. So let's start. First of all, you will need to create a Google Play Books partner account. Click on this link within the article where you are able to see the Google Play Books Partner Center sign-up page. Click on Get Started Now and then you will be able to create your account with Google. First of all, you need to have a Google account to start this process. If you have no Google account yet in place, you can easily create one when signing up uh, to Google Play Books, or you can use your previous uh, Gmail accounts with Google. As I have already have an account with Google, I'm currently signed in to this part, so I can start and continue signing up to Google Play Books for distribution and selling books on Google Play. When you are landing on this page, first of all, you need to decide whether you are a publisher, a self-published author, or a distributor, or a service provider. I'm not sure whether, what you think, guys, but I try to make it 
a bit bigger for you guys. So first of all, I decided that I'm a self-published author here. I need to add my best publisher name, which, which is bestseller, author. I know I'm really creative here. Then I can add my country, which should be United States, if I want to add it. You can add your website as well um, and your phone number. But as you can see, it's an optional data here. So I will skip this for now. And when I click on the next button, I can see the email preferences and terms here as well. Uh, what kind of emails I would like to receive from Google. I always suggest to read the terms and service of all kind of uh, online service you start to use because it's really important that you understand what you are agreeing to. Um, so make sure that you read the terms and service before you click on I agree. And also when you are clicking on the I agree button, you are verifying that you either hold the copyright or you are authorized by the copyright holder for the titles you plan to submit, which is obviously really important when you are selling books. So I agree to this. And then I'm waiting for the magic to happen to finally land in my Google Play Partner Book Center. Now I'm here, you can see that I'm already in my account and uh, I can also create my payment profile. So now you are ready to go with the Google Play Books Partner Center account. So let's start and go to the next step, which is about sign up to publish, right? Number two. Sign up to Publish Drive Distributions platform. Let me show you how easy it is. So now you are ready to create your Publish Drive account when you are going to publishdrive.com and you can click on the sign up button here. So now you can create your Publish Drive account by adding your email address, which was in my case bestsellerauthor2020 at gmail.com. You can also add your password, which can be any password you like to use. You can also retype the password and add your first name, which was bestseller in my case, and last name, author. Then again, uh, you agree to do the terms and um, conditions here and also to the privacy policy as a general rules of thumbs i always suggest to read the terms and conditions before agreeing to that so make sure that you understand uh, what you are agreeing to and also you can set whether you want to receive any kind of promotions via email so you can save money and also whether you want to uh, receive some newsletters where you can actually get to know uh, publish right better and then you are able to click on sign up, which is creating your Publish Drive account for free. Here you can decide which services you would like to use, uh, as Publish Drive have several um, services included. In this case, you want to start distributing ebooks. So when you selected the distribution product, you are able to uh, on board within the Publish Right Path platform, where you need to fill in a short questionnaire before you start using it. Whether we ask whether you want to actually publish your books or others' books as well. So, in my case, I want to publish my own books, and you also can uh, set whether you are a newbie uh, or whether you have actually a draft or you want to publish your first book or you are ready to publish your first book already, or you are actually a seasoned writer. So in my case, I'm all set and I will, I'm ready to publish my first book. The next step is where you can actually add your publisher info, like uh, your imprint name, which is in, in this case Publish Drive, but you can set your own name here as well if you want to, like bestseller, author, the main language of your books is English and also you can 
select which categories you actually are um, writing in mostly. So in my case, it's mostly fantasy and romance. Let's go to the next step where you actually can set up your location and currency as well. It can be United States and also um, you can set your default currency for pricing. When you are finishing this uh, part, you actually can uh, overview the different pricing packages we offer currently which helps all different publishers and authors in every stage of their publishing journey to distribute books on a global scale. We have the tryout package, which is free to start, and you actually have 100% uh, royalty payouts uh, for one title for a limited number of distribution channels. In the standard package, which is 20 bucks per month, you have all distribution channels included, with 100% payout uh, for uh, the royalties. And also you can schedule not just one title, but also five titles to be published uh, with a lot of extra features like uh, promotional options uh, with the different stores and also sharing your account with other uh, virtual assistants or also with other uh, people like accountants who can help you in your finances. So I will pick this package, the standard one, because this is the package which actually allows me to sell on Google Play as well. And when I selected it, I need to uh, pay first. In my case, I'd like to pay with card. So I will add my cardholder name, which is bestseller author my card number, which I already have filled in, and the expiration date, which is 11-12-22. And then I can pay and start my subscription, move on to the next part where I can actually see my whole dashboard with publish right. First of all, you can see a big notification that uh, to sell books on Google Play, I need to go through a process. So before uploading our first title, let's go to the Google Play sign up process, uh, how it looks like, what you need to do in order to make sure that your published drive account is set up to publish titles on Google Play. The next thing is that uh, you already have a Google Play books publisher account here. So in this case, um, you just have to click on a, I already have a Google Play Books Publisher account. And in this case, you will be able to uh, move to the next part of the process. So basically, when you actually clicked on that I have a publisher account, you can fill out the following form with the Google Play Books account data, which is bestseller, author, my email, what I used with signing up to the Google Play Books Partner account, which was bestseller author 2020 at uh, gmail.com, the country as well, what I gave, and collection code. So, in case of collection code, you need to find it um, in your account. So let's take a look at it, how you can find it easily. You can just click here to find your collection code. So now I went back to my Google Play Books Partner Center, where I can click on the book catalog. And also I can go to the advanced button and click on manage templates. There you will be able to see your collection code, which is, in this case, this beautiful code. And then you can copy and paste this to make sure that you have all information to Publish Drive and go back to your Publish Drive account and insert it. Then you can submit your form with Publish Drive and you are ready to go to the next step. Number three, 
add Publish Drive as a service provider to your Google account. Let me show you why and how you can do it. So when you already have uh, filled out the collection code, you should be able to reach the final step, which is basically filling out a form. Click on fill out form, then you should click on all checkboxes here, which allows Publish Drive to manage your data and display it in the Publish Drive account as well. You have to add your comp company name, which was bestseller author in my case. Also, my name was bestseller author and my email address was bestsellerauthor2020 at gmail.com my Google collection code, which is, which can be found again in the Partner Center account. I can copy paste it here. Also, um, add Publish Drive as the client service provider, then go back to the Google sign up page to make sure that you have everything covered. So you added the names, you also added the collection code, uh, then you added publish drive, and then the client service provider email is Google Constant and publish drive.com. If you go back to the final steps of this form, you see that territories should be left empty, and then you have to check the final box and submit it to Google. Then this process should be actually ready and uh, please make sure that you click on the constant ready button within publish drive as well so we know that we can actually start selling your titles in google play as well see that's it to kick off your google playbooks account it's pretty easy right so let me give you a short recap what you need to bring home after watching this video we talked about why it's essential to publish on Google Playbooks today. First of all, you can reach more than 2.5 billion potential readers. Also, you can get higher rankings and search results. But the best part is, you can get more discoverability. Also, we talked about the main mistakes you can make when publishing on Google Playbooks. So before you start publishing on Google Playbooks, make sure you understand how pricing works and also how the categories are different from Amazon, and also how to analyze your sales data when publishing on Google Play Books. In the second part of the video, I'll show you how to publish on Google Play Books with Publish Drive. It is a pretty easy process, so why don't you start today? Sign up now on publishdrive.com and enjoy all the benefits when publishing on more than 400 stores worldwide. I'm Kinga, CEO and founder of Publish Drive. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to meet you on other videos as well. Happy publishing!